Hello everyone, today we're diving into the world of Salesforce Reports, a crucial tool for analyzing and visualizing data within the Salesforce platform. In this video, we'll cover the different types of reports as well as how to create a report and best practices. So let's get started. First things first, what exactly is a Salesforce report? In Salesforce, a report is a way to organize and present data in a meaningful and actionable format. It allows you to analyze information, track trends, and make informed decisions based on your data. Reports are incredibly versatile and can be tailored to your specific business needs. There are mainly four types of reports in Salesforce, tabular, summary, matrix, and joined reports. Each type is ideal for presenting distinct data sets, depending on the report's intended purpose. Let's begin with tabular reports. These are the simplest reports, like an Excel spreadsheet displaying records in each row. You can create a dashboard based on the tabular report, but you cannot create a report chart using the tabular report. This is the best suitable report if you want to export the report. Moving on to summary reports. These reports offer a higher level of abstraction by allowing you to group rows of data based on a specific field. You can then perform calculations on these groups, providing a summarized view of your information. Now, let's talk about matrix reports. These are like pivot tables in Excel, offering both row and column grouping. Matrix reports are great for analyzing data from different perspectives providing a more comprehensive understanding of your information. Lastly, joined reports. These reports allow you to combine multiple report types into a single view, offering a holistic picture of your data. This can be especially useful when you need to compare information side by side. Now, let's explore how to create a report in Salesforce. Don't worry, it's seriously easy to get started Log in to your Salesforce account. From the Setup homepage, click on the 9.grid app launcher icon and search reports from there. Select it. The next step is to choose the report type you're going to use. Once you're on the reports page, click the new report button to reveal a menu. Choose the report type based on the business requirement, opting for either standard or custom as needed. Before we start building our report, Let's take a moment to explore the Report Builder. As you enter the Report Builder, you'll encounter the left and right panels, each holding vital elements for crafting your reports. Starting with the Outline tab, this feature allows you to group your report either by rows, forming a summary report, or both rows and columns, creating a matrix report. We'll take a closer look at these options in the Another video. Moving on to the Filters tab, here's where the magic happens. You can apply standard filters, ed field filters, employee filters, employee filter logic, cross filters, and set row limit filters. The number next to the tab, it signifies the current count of applied filtering restrictions. And now, let's not forget the Fields panel. It houses a comprehensive list of all available fields for your report, with the field options varying based on your chosen report type. To reveal this treasure trove, click the right-facing arrow. To hide it, just click X. The right panel of the Report Builder featuring options like Update Preview Automatically, Add Chart, Save and Run, Save, Close and Run. For this example, Let's create a report using the Opportunity Report type. Start by choosing Start Report. Apply the All Time filter. Now, let's define the criteria by selecting Fields, setting filters, and specifying groupings as needed. In the Outline tab, remove the fiscal period to see the data update automatically. Add the one column to the report, observe it in the preview, and then run the report. You can group by row using Opportunity Name, run the report again. You can also add visual aids such as charts or graphs that can be a big help when setting up reports. You can add charts and graphs by clicking the Add Chart button. Doing so, we've set up a simple bar chart. From here, 
You can toggle the chart, add more filters, and even change the chart type. To access these options, simply click on the Chart Properties gear icon and select other options such as Bar, Column, Funnel, Donut, and Line Charts. The concluding step is saving and exporting. Once you're satisfied with your report, select the Save option. Give your report a name and choose where you'd like to save it. Let us save it in the Public Reports folder and click on Save. You can export the report as well. From the drop-down, select the Export option. Select the Details Only option. You can export reports in Excel or CSV formats. And there you have it, folks. In just a few simple steps, you've created a report to analyze your data. And as you prepare to report on your Salesforce data, keep these tips in mind. Well-designed reports load faster. Before you begin writing your report, consider writing down all of the questions it must answer. This ensures that your report includes all of the necessary data. Reports are shared using folders. Your report is accessible to anyone who has permission to access the folder where it is saved. Make sure you save your report in the appropriate folder. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any further questions at all, feel free to drop a comment below 